Hello, my name is Rita. I will demonstrate how to create a self-registration page on a ClearPass guest module. To create a new self-registration page, go to ClearPass guest module and navigate to Configuration, Pages, Self-Registrations and click the Create new self-registration page link in the upper right corner. Under the basic properties, type up the name for the page. This name is visible only to the administrators. I will type up, for instance, Aruba Guest Access. Next, enter the register page name. This is page identifier that will appear in the URL. I will type up name like guest underscore rec. Click on Save and Continue. On this page, choose the skin for the self-registration pages. Access control allows you to restrict page access to specific IP addresses or subnets. Deny behavior options determines the response shown to the client that are trying to access the page from the restricted or non-allowed networks. I will leave it by default. Click on Save and Continue. The Register Page UI allows to modify or customize the page title and body contents displayed then accessing the register page. I will leave by default. Click on Save and Continue. This is the Receipt Page UI where the Receipt Page title and body contents can be modified if needed. The Receipt Page comes after the registration. I will leave it by default. Click on Save and Continue. The Receipt Actions provides various options for delivering a receipt to a self-registered guest. I will leave it by default. Click on Save and Continue. Enabling the sponsorship confirmation will force the registered guest accounts go through sponsor approval before the account can be enabled. Click on Save and Continue. The Login page controls the self-registered guest login options. The Vendor Settings includes a list of predefined vendors which you can select from, and Custom Settings. The Custom Vendor Settings includes options for configuring NAS URL, submit method, password encryption, and other required parameters for vendors that are not in the predefined list. Clipper supports two login methods, controller-initiated and server-initiated. With the server-initiated login, when client submits the credentials, the ClearPass server validates the credentials received and sends a COA request to the concerned NAS IP address to move the user to a level of access that takes the client out of captive portal. Layer 2 authentication, like MAC authentication, is mandatory and the client MAC address should be included in the captive portal redirection process. The controller-initiated login makes the client browser to securely submit the guest credentials to the controller and the controller sends a Redis request to the ClearPass policy manager to validate the credentials. Public CA signed HTTPS certificate are recommended for controller initiated workflows. If you choose controller initiated login, which provided by default, enter the IP address or host name of the vendor in the IP address field. I will leave by default securelogin.arubanetworks.com and move on to default destination field. In the default destination field, specify the destination URL to which the client to be redirected after the authentication. Please ensure you prepend HTTPS column forward slash forward slash for any external domain. For instance, I will type up HTTPS column forward slash forward slash www.arubanetworks.com. Leave this field blank if the destination redirection is taken care of by the NAS. Click on Save and Continue. Login form allows you to customize the contents displayed in the login page. Enabling pre off check will validate the guest credentials before posting the credentials to the NAS. 
Aruba recommends enable pre-off checks for controller-initiated login, and it can be set to local match for self-registered guests. The login delay may be required if you need to introduce delay with a server-initiated login method. Click on Save and Continue. Enable the self-servers portal if the visitor are allowed to change or reset their password. Firewall customization of self-service portal is available through UI overrides. I will leave the settings by default. Click on Save Changes. You will see the configured self-registration page with this hierarchy and the properties of the page can be modified from here. On the upper right corner, click on Launch this self-registration page to view the registration form. This is the self-registration page I created. To test the registration form, type up a visitor name and email address. The email address will be the username by default. I will type guest user as a name and email guest at arubanetworks.com, then accept the term of use and then click on register. The receipt page displays the details of your guest account. Also, you can check the details of created accounts on ClearPass Guest. Go to Guest, Manage Accounts, click on the account, shown details. The guest accounts can be managed from here also. Thank you for choosing Aruba.